Hi, welcome back to a new lesson. In previous lesson, we had seen AVR microcontroller status register. And before that tutorial, we have seen few assembly programming instruction set and uh, embedded system uh, introductions and the architecture of general AVR microcontrollers and other family members in AVR controllers. Now on, we are going to really start our AVR assembly programming. So the first this in, in this lesson we will take a, a introductory example uh, how to write assembly programming in AVR controllers. As you know the AVR uh, in any CPU uh, in, in fact in any microcontroller CPU works only on a machine language. Let's say here you have a CPU so the CPU only works on a machine language, that's the binary code. Okay. And if you see, there are many levels of the coding. Okay. So there is very low level of coding, then the middle level and the high level, very high level. So the very low level of coding is known as a binary coding or a binary language, you can say. And then we have a assembly language and after that you can say the C language we have which is known as high level and the low level uh, high level and the middle level of programming language and here you see this is a low level of programming language low level programming language okay so the similarly, the assembly also comes into a low level programming language. Okay. So what happened here? Once we write a code into assembly, that means the assembly code is a human readable code, you can say. Okay. That is into a human readable code. However, this binary code is for you say the computer readable okay that's the for computer readable so this assembly language which is a human readable code was developed to make a programming a little bit more simpler than writing a code into a binary numbers so the binary the, the assembly instructions has has a name which is known as a, a the numenics okay you can say it's a numenics so it has a mnemonics and then it has a opcode okay which is also known as a opcode and then it has a operands so it has opcode and then operands right so let's say if i say an instruction such as and r1 and the r2 in this case this is op code and this r1 and the r2 is operands okay so the general structure of assembly language is like this it has a label and then the semicolon and then it has a mnemonics and then finally it has a operands okay and then finally it has a comments so one thing you might notice here is that this this bracket represents that the optional okay that's mean any line of code can be without label can be op without operands and can be without comments but there has to be a mnemonics okay so there has to be a mnemonics right so this is general structure and in the label this is just a human readable 
name and the letter assembler um, assembler decode this name into the address form so the first programming which we are going to take here i am going to read uh, a ram memory okay uh, from the address of the 0x300 and then i am going to add some data uh, in, uh, in fact what i am going to do i am going to store the data at this location okay after uh, adding uh, adding it to register let's say okay let's say here i start assembly code with eq u eq u sum okay so we have here the sum and then i'm telling here the 0x300 okay so you see here this dot eq is a kind of hash defined okay so it's a kind of hash defined in c language in which i am defining sum is equal to 0x300 and then the next instruction which we have dot org 0 0 so one thing you might ask that what is this dot eq and dot org so this is known as a directive okay this directive does not produce any code but it, it it gives a direction to the assembler to start your code from some location such as dot org or it gives a give gives a dictation to the assembler to store some value into let's say uh, in some defined variable so we start with the sum 00, zero and then we have here the ldi r16 0x 35 and then we have here LDI, let's say the R17 0x15. Okay, and uh, after that, let's say we are going to perform addition operation R16 and R17. In this case, what will happen? R16 will be equal to R16 plus R17. Now, let's say after that, we are going to load this location okay we are going to um, store the data at this location so what we can do we can do the sts at the sum okay and then r16 that's mean this is the location which is virtually 0x300 into the ram and then finally here jmp here so what will happen here so this is a kind of while one loop okay and this will store into the ram location ram location 0x300 so the ram location 0x300 will be loaded with r16 plus r17 which we had here these values so the sum of that's the 0x35 plus 0x15 so this will be stored at the time location of 0x300 okay perfect so this is all about in this video in which we have learned about mnemonics the operands the opcodes and then the general structure of assembly instruction and then finally we had written a sample program here we had seen here how to represent how how to assign the directives and then and here is the label okay right so thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice